Hey y'all, so I wanted to talk about this dream I had a couple couple weeks ago, about a month, probably a little bit over a month ago. So in this dream, you know, I want to start out by saying, by saying this, the world, it's not going to get better. I want y'all to understand this, the world not going to get better. You either on the side of God or you on the side of Satan. There's no in between. The world's not going to get better. So, you know, I wouldn't pray for better days. I would pray to endure. I wouldn't pray to ask God for better days. I would pray to ask him to help you to endure, to give you the strength. Because better days are not coming. It's not It's not going to happen. So in this dream that I had about a month a month or a couple of weeks ago, you know, it was there was no sun in the dream. I was on the earth and there was no sun, but I was in the spirit. I was in the physical, but I also was seeing. I was in the physical, but I was seeing in the spirit. I was seeing things in the spirit, in the spirit realm. But it was connected to the physical as well. So, and it was it had no sun, but there were street lights all over the place. It was street lights all over the place, right? And so, in my dream, you know, and I know what this means. You know, every 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 dream that God gives me is always spiritual. So in this dream that I had, you know, I was walking. I was walking and the, the whole earth was dark. The whole entire earth, it was dark, but it had street lights. You know, it had street lights, but this whole earth was dark, right? And in my dream, in my vision, I, you know, was going around, you know, to different places. I was going around different places, right? And I was casting out demons. I was casting out demons. So I would go to like, it would be a place where I would walk, I would be on the street. And you know, it would be so many people you know, on the street, right? And then it would be dark. It would be like a dragon. This dragon was huge. So when I tell you, y'all, this dragon covered the whole earth. It was like a real live dragon in the spirit realm. I was saying this in the spirit. It was like I was in the physical, but I was saying it in the spiritual because the whole earth was dark. And this dragon... It, this thing, y'all, this dragon was huge. It, it, you would have been terrified. If you seen this thing, you would literally have been terrified. I can't even I can't even describe how this thing looked. Like it's not an ordinary dragon. But this thing this thing was huge, y'all. This whole dragon. It was in the sky. This dragon was in the sky, but it was like a, a um like a, a, a apparition. Like a, it was like an apparition. But you could see this thing. Well, at least I could because I was in the physical and in, in, in the spirit. I was in the physical and in the spirit at the same time. So I, it was dark. The earth was dark. It had street lights. That's it. And it was this dragon, this whole, this big dragon that was in this. It covered this whole, this thing was huge. This dragon was huge, right? And so in my vision, in my dream, and I know what, when God speaks to me, I know it, he leaves messages because that's how God speaks to me. He speaks to me like he did with, jo with um, Joseph in dreams. And he's, God has done something that my spiritual eyes are open. I, I understand, you know, life and I understand that this world, this world is not as real as you think it is. You know, the things that you see, the thing that you see is not as real as you think they are. I mean, yes, you can touch, you can feel, you can taste, you can do all these things in this earth. But these things are not as real as you think they are. You know, we live in like, if you've ever seen a movie, The Matrix, that's the kind of life we truly live in, The Matrix. Now, you can make your life good on Earth, or you can open your eyes, like Neo did, and you can see the truth for what it really is. And you can see, you, you, you will really see it and see like, this life, I hate this life. You know, I hate this life. People that tell you, live your best life now, God wants you to have a good life now, that is a lie. That is a lie straight from hell. When Jesus, God never said you was going to live your best life on this earth. Living your best life is in heaven with him. When he come again, you're going to have struggles in this life. You're going to have this. Listen, this is what Jesus himself said. Jesus said, if any man that if any man chooses to, to follow me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross. You're going to suffer persecution. You're going to go through so much struggle in life. You know, you might not have a lot of finances. You might not have a lot of money because the Antichrist, he's coming. We they pushing already with these vaccines, and if you know your scriptures, if you know the word, this vaccine is getting getting um getting mandated. A lot of these jobs have to take take these vaccines. If they don't take it, you're not gonna have a job. All this stuff is leading up to Revelation, the book, the Mark of the Beast. 
They forcing, they are not forcing you to take these, these vaccines. Not everybody, but some people are getting forced to take these vaccines. Like the people in the medical field, they are getting forced to take And some people are not taking it. Some people are smart and they're not taking this vaccine. But anyway, back to my vision and my dream. So in my dream, there was this big dragon, right? And it was just, the earth is full of people, right? In this darkness, it's just straight darkness. And me, where the spirit, whatever the spirit would lead me to, I would go and I would cast out these, it was like these people would look at me. Right? It would be like these people would look at me and like when I would move, I'd touch them, they start to shake. They started to like shake. And I started to cast, I started to cast out these demons, right? And I started to cast out these demons, right? And it would be like a whirlwind of light. When I started to cast out these demons, it would be like a whirlwind of light in our area, right? And that was just it it would be so many people. I would just cast out demons. It was so many people. So many people. And then it would be a part where I would go to like I'll be in this house and it would be like a like a party, right? And it would be dark. It would be like a party, right? But no sun. But like lights. And it would be a whole bunch of people like in this party, right? I was in this house with a, it was full of full of people, a party, right? And it was dark. But it had like lights in there, but it was dark. It's kind of like it's a, it's a different type of darkness. It's a, it's a spiritual darkness. And I would go and I would cast out these demons. I was in this piece of casting out these demons. And everybody just looking at me. Like, what is, everybody looking at me like, what is going on? They don't, they don't understand it. They, these people are looking at me like, what is going on? Like, what's happening? Like, what's, and I'm casting out, listen, y'all, I'm casting out hundreds and hundreds. I'm casting out hundreds of people, bro. In my dream, I'm casting out hundreds and hundreds of demons, right? And this stuff is real. And these people are looking at me like, what is going, what is happening? And they going up and they hugging, hugging their friends and hugging their people, hugging each other and stuff like that. Like, are you okay? Asking like, are you okay? And everything. And it would be like a, a another huge vapor in this place. And then it would be like, once I cast out demons, it would be like a light that would, that would shine over the place. It would be like a light that would shine in the area that I cast out demons, right? And so it would be another place, another part where it was just like this huge, this huge like baseball field, like, and there was hundreds of thousands of people, this huge baseball field, right? And in this baseball field, it was like this, this, and I'm still casting out hundreds. I'm casting out this person. I'm casting out that person. I'm casting out this person. I'm casting out that person. I'm just, listen, I'm, go, I'm casting out demons like crazy, right? In my dream and in my vision. And I get to this baseball field. And it's this huge, like, I can't even describe. It's This whole thing is like white as snow. It's like a, the only thing I can, it's like a kind of like a, I, it can't say like a horse. But it's like a flying creature. It's, it's, comp it's white like snow. This thing is white like snow. Some kind of creature. And... I, I get on this thing, and this thing takes me to different parts of the earth. This thing taking me to different parts of the earth, right? This creature is taking me to different parts of the earth. And um, at one point in my dream, it was one point where every 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 person that I was casting out, these demons was leaving. These demons was leaving. And it was a part where I was trying to cast out demons that in front of a group of people, and it didn't work. I don't know why. It was a part. Of, it was a part of my dream where I was trying to cast out demons in front of the, on the baseball field. I was trying to cast out demons, and it was not working. These people was looking at me, but it was not working. Until then, I, every 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 pl every place I went, I cast every single demon out everywhere, and all these groups of people were just looking at me, and they was dumbfounded about what was going on. And then I get to this huge baseball field, right? With hundreds of thousands of people looking at me, right? And I can't cast this I can't cast these demons out. I don't know what's going on. It's not working. Nothing is working. And so, like, in my soul, in my spirit, I feel like, uh, well, I don't know, nothing not working. So I so I just left. I got on this white creature and I just left, right? And I went to other parts of the earth casting out demons, other parts of the earth casting out demons, right? And you know, you know, I and I, I know I understand what God was telling me in that dream. You know, because God has given me a gift to understand the spirit, the spirit realm. God has given me a gift to understand the spirit realm, to know that this life, this physical ain't nothing. The physical ain't nothing. The spirit, the spirit, the spiritual realm, 
It's more real than it's physical. The thing that you see now, it's nothing. The things that you can feel, that you taste, it is nothing compared to the spiritual realm. And you don't have people teaching you about the spiritual realm. All they teach you about wealth, health, cars, clothes, money, fame. All, the, all these things don't matter, bro. All, this, is, this life is a lie. The life you living today, is a, it's a lie. This life you living is a lie. It's fake. This life we all living is fake. It's not real. It seems real. It, it appears real to the eye. Y'all need to go see the movie The Matrix. This that's the kind of world we live in today. It is not real. Once you die, when you when your soul leave your body, you're gonna realize what life was really about. Y'all. I can't I can, I can stress this enough. I can't stress it enough how difficult and how hard it is to walk with Jesus. Anybody who walk with Jesus, you're going to gonna suffer. You're going to struggle. You ain't going to want to do it. You ain't, It's going to be days where you just not going to want to do it. Remember thinking about Moses for some reason. Moses spoke with God face to face. Moses was that great. God himself he spoke with God himself face to face. Moses. You know, I speak to God, I speak with God in dreams and visions. He he God revealed himself to me like how he did with uh Joseph through dreams and through visions and giving me a knowledge that's ridiculous. Like how he did with King Solomon. King Solomon asked God for wisdom and knowledge. He didn't ask God to be rich. He didn't ask God for wealth. King Solomon asked God for knowledge and for wisdom. And he made this man great greater than anybody. Y'all got to go read these books, what King Solomon did and the knowledge and the wisdom that he had with these demons. People, bro, listen, If you have to have build a relationship with God on your own. You can't always listen to what another person said. You have to build your own relationship with God. You have to search God for yourself. Because a lot of these people know the truth, but they ain't going to want you to know it. That's why you got to have your own. The Bible say, God says, study to show yourself approved. Learn these new scriptures and get this new wisdom like me. I wanted it. I, I Listen, I asked God for something super huge. I asked God, man, I, I asked God, make me like Moses. Make me like all the prophets of the great. I told God, I prayed to God, I said, God, make me like them. I didn't know what I was asking for. God heard that prayer. God heard that prayer. I didn't know what I was asking for. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I said, God, make me like Moses. Make me like Aaron. Make me like all these prophets that are great. Make me better than them. I did not know what I was asking for. God heard my prayer. When I when I prayed to him, those, those prayers, and it wasn't a one-time thing. It was constant. It was constant. God, make me like this. God, make me like them. Make me like that. So listen, y'all wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You gotta wake up. You gotta open your spiritual eyes because you are more than physical. Your physical nature is not your true nature. It's not. Your spirit, your soul, that's your true nature. That's your true nature. The spirit realm is completely different than this physical. It's completely, it's completely different. It's supernatural. You can't understand it. Unless you, you know. Have a build a relationship with God. No one can fully truly understand the spiritual realm. Plus, people don't search out. People don't search for the spiritual realm. They only search for physical things. They only search to try to make things better physically in this in this physical nature that's gonna pass away, and that's passing away every single day. So, y'all, be careful, cause this dragon is all over the earth. You know, be careful. You know, wake up. You know, don't get don't get caught. Don't get so focused on your job. Don't get so focused on this life. I know it's hard. I I know it's difficult. It's hard. You know, you got bills. You got life. You got kids. You got all these things going on. But don't let that take you away from God. Cause listen, the majority of these the majority of people you see every day going to hell. About ninety percent, ninety five percent people you see every day going to hell. Even your family, your kids going, your mother going, your father going, your brother going, your sister going. I gotta tell you the truth. 
God, everybody preaches Jesus' love, God's love, yes, but he'll send you to hell in one second. God, is, he'll send you to hell in one second. They beat around the bush. I don't beat around the bush. I tell it how it is. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I got to tell you how it is. And I'm so tired of all these prosperity preachers. They only teach God love, God love, God love. Yes, God love you, but he'll send you to hell that quick. He'll send you to hell that quick. So y'all be awake. Wake up. I can't say it enough. Wake up. 